Center for Coastal and Ocean Mapping here at the University of New Hampshire has been a world leader in ocean mapping and developing new technologies for that. And now we're also doing that in the deployment and the use of marine robotics to, to map the seafloor as well. Drix is the uncrewed surface vessel. It is a super hydrodynamic vessel with long endurance and a high speed that was purpose built for seafloor mapping. Uh, it was developed by a company called Exhale that's based in France. Exhale has uh, positioned themselves to open a, a facility here in collaboration with the university to both field deploy as a staging place and, and manufacturing location for their vehicles. Ben is just four meters long and has a top speed of about five and a half knots and an endurance of a good solid day and we uh, use him for all kinds of things from training students and developing new technologies, but we also can put him in a shipping container and ship him all the way around the globe. We've gone to look for Amelia Earhart's lost aircraft in the South Pacific with Ben. In the future, we're gonna be using more and more of those uh, vehicles, and so we should prepare our students uh, so that they can get some practical experience. My interest is in uh, marine robotic, and now I'm working on the perceptive capabilities of robot boats. So I am trying to teach our boat how to drive a little bit better. Partnering with these companies and developing this workforce really helps the state of New Hampshire get their students out there in the broader marine economy, sort of the blue economy. It's beneficial for both the students who get access to the latest and greatest, but also to the manufacturers who get access and the ability to interact with the students that are likely going to be leaders in the field.